Well, hello, and welcome in to the next step. I'm your host, Kevin Lewis. I suspect you might be wondering what is the next step, and who is Kevin Lewis? Well, my resume would include a diverse range of experiences. I've been an athlete. I was a college radio and television broadcaster. I worked in the music video industry. Heck, I even gave performances as a Christian rap artist. I've sold copiers, and like a lot of folks, I've got plenty of experience in the restaurant business, both as an employee and part owner. I was an English teacher, and I've coached football and wrestling at the high school I graduated from. I even moved halfway across the country to own my own gymnastics gym. There, I was privileged to start off with a bunch of young kids and watch them grow into some very talented young ladies. I even coached boys and girls, on how to be a ninja. Currently, after I'd been coaxed and convinced that I'm an okay singer, I still sing in the church choir. After an experience at my gym, I started writing a book. I am a father to one gifted, incredible, beautiful young lady and was able to be a stepfather to a young man who still impresses me to this day. I'm sure if you check with either one of them, they'd tell you I am far from perfect. Perhaps out of those experiences, I concluded there had to be more to life, more than living and dying, and I started to look outside of myself, my family experience, and look upward. Some call it the cosmos, karma, or fate. For me, I call it God. I've figured some things out and other things I'm still learning. Each step, Along the journey of my life, I've learned some valuable lessons. Some of those lessons were obvious in the moment, and others weren't quite fully understood until much later. I've also met some genuinely wonderful, inspiring people. Some of them you would know. Others you've likely never heard of. But I suspect you've had people in your life who've maybe taught similar lessons to you. Now, death and taxes aside, there is another constant, and it starts with a choice that we each get to make. Ray Kroc was the guy who started McDonald's as we know it today, and he had a saying, if you're green, you're growing, if you're ripe, you rot. I think that was his way of saying, be a lifelong learner. Don't presume you know it all. Now, there is so much that we don't control, but I had a coach who taught me we can control our attitude and our effort. Wrestling was a sport, and as you know, it's physically and mentally just brutal. And as good coaches tend to do, my coach had his finger on the pulse. He had a strong sense of when our attitude and our effort was waning, and he'd spontaneously yell out, Attitude check! We knew it was our cue to run to each person in the room, give them a high five, say something encouraging, but also to look inside and check our own attitude and our own effort. I think it's that sort of learning that brings us to this podcast, The Next Step. I'm inviting you in because I want you to be a part of this family, be a part of this team. I invite you to listen in on some great conversations I've been able to have, and together let's learn and figure out What's next? I've lined up a bunch of great guests, including this pair of brothers, one of them pursuing the Scottish Highland Games and the other a gold medalist in the Olympics. I was able to speak with the coaching director of a major league soccer youth sporting program. I'm even working on getting that old wrestling coach of mine onto the show. But ladies, fear not, this is not a guys only club. I've lined up a diverse group of men and women, some are great writers, some musicians, a whole host of genuine people. I sure hope you will join us on this journey because no matter what you call your higher power, this life really is a journey. I know there were moments in my life when I thought I had it all figured out. I was just convinced that X, Y, or Z was going to happen, and then it didn't. Maybe, like me, you found yourself in a spot where your world is a little upside down, or it just didn't work out the way you thought it was going to. And now, you have to figure out what you are going to do next. Well, my friend, let's not be foolish. I've been there and done it. Desperados end up desperate. Let's meet here, in this safe space. Listen in. Learn from others. Don't be suckered or pressured by events or well-intended people saying, you've got to figure it all out at once. No, no, you don't have to do that. You 
are not alone. You are dearly loved, and you are on the way to determining the next step. I cannot wait to see you next time. Would you please do all the likes and subscribes? Do us both a favor and share this with your friends on your socials at your next coffee get-together. And between now and then, remember to relax, breathe. You don't have to figure it all out. Together, we just have to figure out the next step.